Hello, I am back with another program uh, and today we are going to write a program to present a menu of calculator operations, summation, subtraction, division, multiplication to the user and apply the operation chosen by the user on two numbers and display the result on console. The menu would look like this. So this is the menu that we need to display. And until and unless user uh, types in a file that uh, he wants to exit, we need to repeat the menu over and over again. Fine. So the numbers has to be taken from the user as well. Fine. So we need to take two inputs from the user, two numbers from the user, and then also we need to take a choice of operations presented to the user. And depending upon the choice that the user uh, you, user types in, enters, we'll have to apply that particular operation on the two numbers given by the user and display the result. Say user enters one, then we'll have to apply a summation on the two numbers the user has given and display the result on the console. If the user enters three, then division has to be applied on the two numbers entered by the user. And until and unless user enters a 5, we need to repeat this menu over and over again. So after we display uh, the result of an operation, we would again present the user with the same menu. And if the user enters 5, we, need, we would exit out of the program. Otherwise, we would again present the same menu to the user back again. Fine. So first of all, uh, how to attempt this program. So one thing um, that we need to repeat this menu and because uh, because we would need to repeat this menu, we would uh, we need to have a loop in our program. Until and unless the user enters five, we need to be uh, repeating whatever statements we write within that loop, right? So, let me start with declaration of few of the variables that we would require here. So the two variables to store the numbers entered by user. So first of all, let me declare two variables, say A and B. And other variable would be required to store the choice that is entered by the user. So user can enter a 1, 2, 3 or up to 5. So let that variable be choice and then we need to um, within a loop we need to ask the user to enter two numbers and then present this menu to the user so for that i'll be using a infinite loop so how a infinite loop can be written so let me use a while loop and the condition would be such that that it would always be true. So any non-zero number in C is considered as true. So we would be using anything which is non-zero. So I, I'm using while one. So one would be considered as true. And because this condition is always true, this is an infinite loop and it would go infinite number of times until and unless uh, we write any statement within the loop uh, to break out of this loop. Find some some conditional statement has to be written within the loop to break out of it. Otherwise, it would keep on going forever. Fine. So we would be writing some conditional statements within the while loop to break out of the loop, and that condition would be uh, the user's entry value as five. That means. The choice, uh, choice is the variable in which we would be storing the user's uh, preferred choice. And if the choice contains, if this variable's value is 5, we would break out of this loop. And how would that be exactly done? We would see that in, in a minute. So within the loop, first we need to present uh, the user um, a prompt uh, to enter two numbers. So we'll prompt the user to enter two numbers. Enter two numbers. And we would uh, 
collect these two numbers in these two variables that we have declared ampersand a and ampersand b ampersand is address of operator so we have collected the numbers entered by user in a and b now we'll have to present the user uh, this menu So let me copy paste this summation then the next line has to be printed in the this uh, two dot subtraction has to be printed in the next line so I am using a backslash n so this is a uh, this is a new line feed character backslash is this uh, escape character and after that n means that after printing this there would be a new line feed that means whatever we write after it would be printed in the next line fine so the next line that we want to print is two dot subtraction similarly backslash n three dot division backslash n four dot multiplication Backslash n Fine. Now, after printing this, we want to prompt the user to enter his choice. So we'll be using a printf statement again and we'll prompt the user enter choice. And whatever user enters, uh, we would store it in this variable called choice that we have already declared. So as it is an integer variable, we would be using percent %d and then ampersand choice. Let us quickly run it and see if it works fine or not. So it is already in finite loop and so it would get into infinite loop and we'd have to close the console to get out of uh, the loop that's for sure so two and three enter two numbers exit summation subtraction division multiplication exit and after that we'll have to use a backslash n to present back enter choice right so it is already it is in a infinite loop so it would keep on presenting me the same output again and again, same menu again and again so i'll have to cons close this console and come out of the loop now here i'll have to use a backslash n now after collecting the value user entered value in choice uh, what I can do is we, I can use if else condition uh, conditional statement to check the value of uh, the choice variable contains and then depending upon that I can use uh, I can apply any of this operation on the two numbers entered by the user or I can go for switch case so here my preference would be switch case because here the condition is very simple that is the value of the choice that needs to be compared with uh, one two three four or five right so this is this this is very simple kind of con um, condition and here we are just uh, checking the equality of the value of this choice variable with one two three four or five and as you know switch case can handle this equality condition uh, so and it is also you know very readable kind of conditional statement so we would go for switch case let us go for switch case so here we need to check the value of choice variable right so the expression here would be just a variable name and now if choice contains the value 1 so if choice contains the value 1 that means user wants us to apply summation operation so here we would uh, print f the summation is percent d 
and we would apply summation operation on the two variables on two values entered by the user and after that break statement which is mandatory here because uh, after applying this operation we were going to come out of switch right we didn't have to go to the next case if we skip break then it would uh, the control would fall through and the next case would also get executed which we don't want so we would apply a break and break uh, statement after this printer now case 2 means the user wants us to apply subtraction let me copy paste this four times and this would be case 3 this would be case 4 the subtraction Subtraction result is the division result is subtraction division and multiplication one thing we'll have to change here is because a and b are integers uh, this a divided by b would result into an integer division and the fractional part would get truncated right integer division causes the fractional part to be truncated so for that we need to convert one of the numerator or denominator into float at least one of them into float right so for that we would be using a typecast so this is typecast typecasting how we typecast uh, integer variable into float variable within first bracket type the name of the uh, data type in which we want to convert it to so this would executed it be executed like this first a would be converted to float data type and then division operation would uh, would be applied so after this has converted to a float data type uh, this division would no more be a integer division it would be a general division in which the fractional part would not be truncated it would remain intact so this would uh, this would uh, then uh, display correct result on the console now if the user enters a file that means user wants to exit from the program so if the user enters 5 he wants to enter uh, exit from the uh, program so we are going to write a return statement what is a return statement return statement is a statement in which control when this would be executed control would return to the calling function so here it is a main function we have just a single function in this program and this function is entry point of the program as soon as return would be executed the control would return back to the operating system that means the program would end there right so study about return statement uh, somewhere else and uh, see why did we write uh, return here so return is a statement in which uh, the control returns to the calling function right here calling function is nothing but the operating system so uh, the control would return to the operating system and the program would stop there let me write one more condition one more case that is known as default case and which would be executed only if the value of choice is uh, none of this uh, uh, none of this val values 1 2 5 if it is anything else then the user has provided an invalid input so you would tell the user that the uh, entries are invalid invalid entry
okay so we are done with the program let us run it and check whether it's working fine or not so enter two numbers five four enter choice let me enter two subtraction five minus four is the subtraction result is one again enter two numbers fine so it is coming in the same uh, line I'll have to give a backslash n after the switch case. So after the switch case, let me provide a line feed. Printf backslash n. Backslash n is for new line feed. Let me run it once more. summation is 12 enter two numbers again the user is prompted for entering two numbers on that whatever user chooses let me choose division 6 divided by 8 the division result is 0 which is incorrect right which is incorrect so something is wrong there yeah so I found out the error here so it should be percent f because it should be a fractional value it should be percent f so let me check division now it is coming out to be correct again the user is prompted for entering two numbers let me check multiplication so this is coming out to be correct enter two numbers now I can choose exit I don't want to go any further I want to choose exit so the program has finished and it has worked perfectly so with that uh, we have completed uh, the program and some more this kind of uh, basic programming questions I'm going to solve in my next session so keep watching um, thank you for watching this video thanks bye